During this lesson, you will be required to fill out a worksheet. I recommend you read through the worksheet before viewing the lesson. In order to give you time to do this, you can use the pause button at the bottom of the screen. Learning Outcomes By the end of this lesson, you should be able to List the characteristics of the two most traditional methods used to support an arch, including their separate parts. List four different methods used to support an arch during construction. State what striking an arch refers to. And describe how to strike an arch successfully. Supporting an arch. Traditionally, an arch is built over a temporary timber support called a centre or a turning piece. This allows the vous wires to be placed into position during construction. When setting up a timber centre, provision must be made to take it down easily when building is finished. This is referred to as striking the arch. This is achieved by allowing 3 mm of play either side of the timber centre and by using folding wedges when supporting the arch. The drawing on the left here, we have a traditional open timber framework arch support or a centre for a semicircular arch. usually constructed of plywood. On the bottom left here we have a solid timber support for a segmental arch or a turning piece. Note the corners of the turning piece, they're very slim. A stronger method would be the one shown below. When the arch support is made out of a number of different pieces of timber, it's called a centre. When it's carved out of one piece of timber, it's called a turning piece. Centres are made up of separate parts. These parts are called laggings and they can be open or closed, ribs, toys and bearers. Nowadays, however, arch needles can be made from pressed stainless steel, which are lightweight. These needles are left in position after the arch is built. This reduces the time required to set up temporary supports and gives additional strength to the arch. Here we have some examples of pressed steel lintels for different types of arches. The first one is for a semicircular arch, and we can see it in use there down below. The next is for a segmental arch, and we can see this being used down below. And then the last one on the right hand side is for a soldier arch. Another option, particularly if the arch is over a large span, is to use polystyrene as shown below. This can be a more cost-effective method on large spans. It is easily handled and relatively easy to position. Conclusion Methods used to support an arch The first is a timber centre made up of different pieces of wood known as laggings and these can be open or closed, ribs, toys and bearers. The second is to use a turning piece, and this is carved from one piece of wood. The third is to use polystyrene, this is used on large span arches. And lastly, a pressed steel lintel, which is quicker and stronger. Striking an arch is the term used to describe the process of taking down a centre after the arch has been built. It must be done very carefully and the method to be used should be pre-planned.